and welcome to the start of a new weekly vlog. Ah, um, I wasn't actually going to vlog this week because I was just like, I'm going away on the weekend, going to Hastings. And I don't really want to vlog it because I just want a holiday, do you know what I mean? And when you vlog, it's like, of course it's fun, but it still technically counts as work. Like, tech, like you know those little technicalities, so I was like... Maybe not, but I might just vlog a few little bits here and there, not like, hi guys, this is what I'm doing today. Um, I'm more of just like, if I see something cool, I'll shoot it. Not like, shoot, point and shoot, do you know what I mean? Um, I really don't want to be at work today, but alas, I'm here and I made sure I left early. So I'm early, I'm 15 minutes early because last week I was late, five minutes late. And I got told off. <laughs> Um, and I don't like getting told off, so I'm not going to get told off again. <laughs> so here we are, 15 minutes early. After work, I'm going to my nan's, going to be stay there for the night, you know, just chill with her, give her, you know, just spend some time with her, keep her company. Um, but I'm going to be doing some work when I get back. And um, yeah, working Monday to Wednesday, Thursday, got a, a meeting on the phone. And then Friday, I'm going to Hastings, so um, yeah. I hope you guys are all fine and dandy today. I had a very strange dream. Actually, let me tell you about my, about my dream the other day. The other day I had a dream where I was house sitting these two dogs. One of them was a bully and one was a terrier. And I forgot to feed them. But they were still alright. But I forgot to feed them. I was just giving them like biscuits. I wasn't like every now and then I wasn't giving them like, actual food. Like how fucking weird is that? And I had this weird dream that um, Kate Middleton, I was at a party with Kate Middleton and i left my 10 pound note on the side and she wrote she wrote something on my 10 pound note first of all what am i dreaming about kate middleton i literally never even speak about her i never even i didn't even see her but like before all that like even for my subconscious to hold on to it so i don't even get that um but then when i looked at the 10 pound note it was ba the, what she'd written on it was like a, a, a secret location and so i took the note obviously because it was my note anyway and um basically I had people after me trying to find me, trying to get this £10 note. And I went to my nan's house and basically me and my, my nan were just chilling. And she was like, Jess, I think someone's just coming into the house. And people had broken into the house. Like obviously like secret service or whatever. Some kind of people had broken into the fucking house. And um, yeah, it was quite scary. But then the, my dream from last night, one of them, I was uh, in our hands car so random well actually i probably i saw his thumbnail for his new um his new show so that's probably why but i was fucking i was in his car as passenger and he was driving for a car park like really fast but i felt safe because i'm used to being in people's fast cars um and then we met up with poet <laughs> and then poet brought a dog and it yeah this was very but i also saw a picture on instagram of poet Ahan and who? I can't remember. Um, and then, other part of my dream was, it was like, it was like I was, it was like my boss, but it wasn't my boss. He was someone, and he basically gave me the deed to a house. And I was like, for what? Oh, what else in the dream? That, that just sparked something else in my dream. Oh, but to the house probably because i was watching um i started watching fucking people getting houses on being self-employed getting mortgages as self-employed that's why that's why because i'm really trying to think about i'm really trying to plan for getting a mortgage and i um i know it's a lot harder as a self-employed person so if you've got any tips comment that down below um but yeah i'm gonna go to work now hope you have a good day peace out <laughs> I'm feeling a bit acidy today, so I've looked up on the interwebs and it says ginger is good. So I don't like I don't like ginger. So let's. I've got a ginger tea. It's not that bad. Yeah, it's nice. Seedling update. The cabbage is looking good. They're bigger. 
but this one doesn't look like it's doing too well. And also, this is the cauliflower. I've got nothing else. That doesn't look too good, to be honest with you. And there's one there, which I don't think is going to do well because it's right on the edge. <laughs> um, nothing in tomato, nothing in asparagus, um, artichoke, basil is a few, but I don't know, they're not looking too good either. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to probably, well, I've got my, my pellets, I'm going to build the beds probably next week. And then I'm probably just going to start again, to be honest. Um, yeah, because I've not been able to keep a proper eye on them every day because they're at my nan's and I've not been coming every day. So I need to just get a mini greenhouse, put it in my garden and do it like that. Yeah. And apparently I can still plant them because it's May. So I can still, I can still, I can still sow seeds. You probably just think I wear the same things to work every day and you know what you would be half right tomorrow I'll wear something different but anyways I wanted to um let you know about my dreams last night I think this is something that I'm gonna do I'm gonna um have little dream logs because I think it's really interesting hearing people's dreams if you don't think it's interesting then feel free just to like you know do something else while this is on in the background but okay, so there was a sequence of dreams last night and I think they were particularly strange because I was sleeping on the sofa and I find that when I'm sleeping in different locations like that or even when I'm having like a nap, it's my, my dreams are different. Basically, long story short, I ended up, it was like, it's like a trapper's party, yeah? I basically ended up losing my phone, losing my shoes, losing my friends and I wasn't even like wasted or anything. I didn't know where I was. I was stranded. I had no phone. I had no shoes. <laughs> and I was basically just trying to find my way to some kind of civilization. Anyways. Oh my God, there was so much more to the dream. And I knew that I should have logged it as soon as I woke up. I was in this, this man's house. And I remember, oh yeah, I was walking upstairs. And then he stopped in front of me on the stairs. And he was like, so how long have you been into property for? Because I'm actually really interested in, I was actually thinking yesterday that um, I might become an estate agent. <laughs> I was watching A Place in the Sun in real life yesterday and I love A Place in the Sun. You know what? My trainer thought keeps slipping. Does anyone else find with Oral-B toothpaste they get these little white bits? I can feel it developing and I googled it and there's an actual name for it. You know what? This is why I need to do morning pages because I feel like I've got so much to say in the morning. What are you taking the picture of? Uh, although my mother has, yes, made me dinner and it is, yes, 17 past 17. I did fancy some noodles instead and I ha ah, it's really hot but I'll have my dinner later um these are the best noodles ever yes they're full of shit yes they the only reason they taste good is because of the MSG but you know what nothing beats them they're the coca beef noodles Nothing beats them. Big up Taylor for putting me on these noodles. Woo. The real reason I'm here is because I treated myself again. And this will be the last treat for a while. But it's because the, the tracksuit that I bought, I needed a new pair of trainers to go with them. I needed some chunky white trainers. That I don't have. I have chunky white with pink trainers, but I want just plain white. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, these noodles are so pain. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to unbox them with you. Mmm. 
I have, for a very long time, wanted a pair of buffalo trainers. And so, here we are. Yes, they're 90 pounds, but praise the Lord above for Klarna. Pain three. You know what, when I first heard of Klarna, I really thought it was a scam. Like I thought it was like, you know, are they gonna put interest on your payments and blah, 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 but they actually don't. Like it's actually just a really good, well, it's not really, I guess it, it could be quite toxic for some people if they have a spending problem, which I used to, but now I don't. You might think I do, but I don't. 95% <laughs> no. of the clothes that I buy is secondhand charity shops but anyways let's i don't need to justify myself to no one let's have a look at this shall we ah, i'm so excited it's gonna look so sick with the tracksuit Woo! i didn't realize they had gray on them how did i not realize that i like to inspect the details and see where they've got glue, where they've got this and this. And this is not so bad, though there is a slight mark here on the fabric, but it's really not that deep. I also look at the cut of the bits of material. You know what, I would put them on the table, but my nan always says don't put new shoes on the table. You know one of those things that just stick? I like that it's come with bags as well because I will transport them like this. We are going to try the one. Oh, if only I could put it on the table. Nan, why did you get, get in my fucking head? Oh, I want a pair of Balenciagas as well. Oh, there's these ones. What colour? All pink ones I've seen. Oh, they look sick. There's quite a few Balenciagas that I'd love. I just love trainers. And you know what? For a long time, I was like, oh, there's not any good vegan trainers out there. But I'm actually making an effort to like look now and fine because i've got quite a few like i bought a couple of pairs of trainers that don't say they're vegan but like the materials it's textile and it's you know it's not leather but i'm such a trainer person and i always have been and that's one thing that has really like not stripped away happiness from me because maybe that's a bit dramatic but when you when you're like you know people that are into fashion and stuff and you know if they could never shop fast fashion again or blah 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 they'd probably cry um and that's how it was for me, like, when I went vegan, and it was like, oh my god, like, I can't have, like, sick trainers anymore. What is this? Oh, it's weird. Inside it's got this yellow thing here. And I thought it was a sticker, but it's actually not. Anyways, I hope they fit. Fingers crossed. Fing cross your fingers for me right now. You know what I love when trainers have this on the back? Because actually, when I put it on my train, when you put them on, you loop, hold that, and it pulls, and it's great. Oh my god, they, they're, they're perfect. Oh, they're perfect. Oh, praise the Lord. Look at the sole. Can you see? No, it's peaking. Oh, there we go. That's a cool sole. That'll make a cool print. Oh my god, how much height do they give me? Let's see. Oh, this is my usual weight. <laughs> so this is me standing on my foot. This is with the buffalo. Foot. Buffalo. Foot. Buffalo. Oh, that looks sick. Look at this. <laughs> All right, obviously I'm not gonna wear these, but look. Oh my God, they are cold. But you know what's so fucking funny is that they've got this massive hole here and I was sitting the other day. Oh, actually, yeah, I was sitting the other day with no underwear on and I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh my God, it's so funny. I can see my fat flaps just hanging out. Anyways. These are fucking sick. Shall I put the other one on? I feel like I actually need to put the tracksuit bottoms on, so I'm gonna do that. Guys, don't worry, okay? Don't worry. I'm never gonna leave pink behind. Pink is my favorite color, and it always will be. Well, maybe it won't, but I need to fart. You ever just have to pull your thong aside so you can fart? Oh my God, this tracksuit is long, man. Did I get an extra long tracksuit or something? Oh, that doesn't even look good. Ah. Oh. doesn't even look good. <laughs> no, this tracksuit is too long. Why is this tracksuit so long? I, I actually don't understand. Like, did I order an extra long tracksuit? Why are they so long? 
That doesn't look good. <laughs> that looks awful. Look at this. It looks like I'm wearing fucking snow boots. Yeah, that don't look right. <laughs> I thought it was gonna look sick. But this is the problem. When you've got flared trousers, yeah, it takes away how sick your trainers are. Like all of that is under this. What am I supposed to do about that? I actually need to get them taken up. As if I didn't spend enough money on these fucking tracksuit bottoms, I've now got to get them taken up. How much do I need to get them taken up by? This is long. All right, bye. I'm gonna eat my noodles and edit. Bye. Hi, I'm not usually one to do this, but I also am not one to usually, look at that spot, ew. I'm also not one to usually um, spend this much money on clothes, but I really, really wanted the Jade in London tracksuit because I thought it was beautiful and it goes so well with my hair and it was just like, great. But the top is like 60, the bottoms is like 55. And when you get it, it's like, oh yeah, the quality is great. But there's things like this, this, uh, can you see? Bit of fraying here. And then it's also, there's loads of these little parts. Oh, is it gonna focus? Like that. There's one on both sleeves. Again, here, you see that? The zip is terrible quality. It's a really sh zip, really, really sh Um, <laughs> And these parts are really sh too. And there should be like a metal aglet here, because look at that. Now those things, I was just gonna let slide. I wasn't gonna say nothing. But I was wearing my favorite cute little white vest up underneath. Can you see this? Can, oh, I bet you can't even see. Mm, you can't. You can't see it, but basically, my white top is now no longer white because clearly, can you see that? Clearly, this has rubbed off on it. And the saddest, saddest, saddest thing of us all is I actually bought some buffaloes because I've wanted some for ages. And you're not gonna be able to see this on the camera either, but the color from the bottoms of the fabric has rubbed off onto my brand new buffaloes it's all here, it's, you can't see, but it's all down here, all along here, it, I am f***ing, I am so upset, but I love the tracksuit and I'm still gonna wear it because it looks sick, but why the f*** is the fabric like this, why is it running onto my sh If you watch my videos, like, you watch, watch my videos, and you would know that I've been drinking out of a Pyrex glass for a long time with a straw, with water, but recently I've been drinking out of this, and I think I like the... I think I like holding it. I think I like that control over it, you know? I think I also rather drink water, like, from... It's not a spout, is it? From a, um... Curved edge, rather than a straw. I think it has that more natural feel of consuming water, you know? Like, if it was to be, like, on the stream, you know, on the mountain, and we were just drinking water from the stream or popping it in a glass. I'd like to do that, you know. Where can I do that? Where can I go and just drink stream water? Can you let me know, please? I actually want to know that. Um, anyway, I have got one of the Love Raws cream filled wafer bars. They are real G's and they liked my vlog where I was trying the white wafer bars, the white ones um white chocolate ones and i was like hey i want to send you some more what's your favorite one and i was like this is my favorite one the white one's nice but i prefer this one it's so good just look look at that they don't call it a kinder bueno but it's basically what it is but it's not but it is but it's not do you know what i mean it's got the same vibe as a kinder bueno but it's it's its own thing altogether you know um i've just never had anything like this since Kinder Bueno, basically. This is the most like a Kinder Bueno thing I've ever had. That's vegan. I'm gonna bite into it for you. Here, here's some ASMR. Mmm. I don't think I've even bothered with the camera today. It's just, you know, them days where you just, I just, you just can't be asked to vlog. This can't be us, it's not everyday vlog. I know it's a weekly vlog, but that's the joy of a weekly vlog. It means that there's different component, components throughout the week that might be more entertaining than other days. Today was long. 
it was quite busy at work but I just didn't feel good today I think I woke up on the wrong side of the bed I'm just having dinner we have a uh, co-op pizza chips and some salad and I'm gonna watch something and I've got to upload a video this last year is, I've learned a lot and I learned um, what a narcissist is and I learned to recognize those behaviors and um, yeah if you don't know I suggest you look into what a narcissist is and uh, how they manipulate and use people in their life um, because you might be being manipulated by someone and you don't realize it yet but I recommend you look into it because whew, it's an eye-opener <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you can hear my beautiful voice in the background. My mum was watching my vlog that I just posted. Um, last night I went to Taylor's house and just chilled. And we just went to bed to be honest. We went, we went McDonald's, we had a couple sips of Desperado and then we was like, no, I was just getting to bed tired. So we just went to bed and um, I am starving Marvin. I have got this bacon, which is actually one of the best vegan bacons I have had in all my five years of veganism. And you know, it was so funny. I posted a story the other day on Instagram and um, it was of my sandwich because I love sandwiches. And someone fucking replied saying that um, it really makes me sad that all you eat is like bread. There's so many other lovely things like bagels, pitters, uh, wraps, <laughs> and <a> baguettes. <laughs> and she, I actually could not believe that I had been DM'd saying that someone's sad that I'm eating bread instead of all the other variations, which I think is fucking hilarious. I gave my response. I said, I don't like pitters. Wraps are too fiddly. Bagels hurt, uh, baguettes hurt my mouth, but I do like bagels. And we actually have some bagels, and I thought it would just be funny to highlight that point. I'm gonna have bagels. With this avocado, we're gonna see if this avocado is okay, because you know when they say ripe and ready, but it's actually not ripe and ready, like it's actually solid. And I cut it open, and you, you literally are like, like biting into avocado pieces. Like, what's that about? I don't get it. So we're gonna see what that looks like. And if it's okay, avocado on bagel with bacon on top. I'm gonna make a cup of tea. So this is what it looks like. Smell it. Yeah, it smells um interesting. I think it smells nice to be fair, I don't think it smells bad. And um you basically the sad thing is though is that there are these tiny ass little rashes. And it's sad because you literally get you get 10 in a pack and with one serving you've got to have at least five it's three pounds so i guess it's the same as bacon how much is bacon i don't even know how much bacon is but so my mum just um just uh said that it smelled like bacon you can, can you, you can talk in the background tell what did you think of the vegan bacon mum? oh it's actually delicious mm. very nice when i passed it to her i said do you want to try some she screwed up her face Oh, so you look like a tongue. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like a tongue does though. Um, this is Lady Jefferson, I like. She likes it. So, and this is actually the best vegan bacon I have ever had. And um, yeah, I'm gonna um, take these. I forget to take them every day, and I know oh, my mum yeah. wishes that I would remember. Um, so we've got this is from Vivo Life. This is um, vitamins. Apparently, it's better to have liquid vitamins. You've got B12, um, and then you've got D3 and K2, because apparently you need K2 to digest. Vitamin D. So who would have known? Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. yeah. So many things that we don't know. Um, yeah, about that much. I was thinking because I like the days that I've forgotten to take it. Can you double up? Can I double up? No. But because then, then I was thinking no because your body can only digest a certain amount yeah, yeah. a day. Yeah. They always say don't double up on things. Just yeah. take it when you remember. But logically. I thought that would work, but no, because yeah. if your body can't only digest a certain amount of things a day, well, yeah. this is the best one. It's B12 one. Yeah, because it tastes sweet. It tastes like it's um, so sweet, like like an adult carrot hole. Yeah. It tastes like carrot hole. Yeah. This is the colour of it. So good. I I always do this. I start filming with the glasses on, and I can, and I can see the glare. So can you? And let me make myself look cute. You know what? These extra strings really make a difference. Look, strings 
no strings, no strings attached, NSA. Um, anyways, I, I'm really happy because I'm doing a collaboration with Wuka. I fucking love them. You, if you don't know, you need to get to know. I've got about fucking 100 pairs of Wukas. Joking, not that many. I will do one day though. Um, but I love them so much and um, I ended up responding to their email late in um, terms of collaborating. And obviously I'm going away for the weekend and when I'm collaborating with them, obviously it's a product based collaboration so I need to take pictures in the product. And I was so worried that it was going to turn up like tomorrow or something when I'm away because today's Thursday and I'm leaving tomorrow morning. Um, but then I was worried that I was going to end up having to take them with me and shoot whilst I was away. But they've just arrived. <laughs> Just arrived so I get to do the work today. Look how excited I am to do work, but I love Wooker and I, I just love I love working with them. And um, they're just sick. Like, I actually don't think I've actually ever worked with them on a paid collaboration. I've always just like, it's always been gifting, but I love them so much. Like I met, the owner's name is Ruby and I met her years ago now, years ago. And she's such a wonderful person and i love her mission i love her brand and it, i've always been more than happy to work with them on a gifting collab but it's so nice to be able to work with them on a paid collab because you know time is money baby and i'm trying to save for a house <laughs> um but i thought i'll just show you a slice of realness um i've had clean washing now in a basket for uh, about a week and what i do is i empty them all out all the clothes out onto my bed to tell me to make sure so when i do that it ensure i thought it was going to ensure that i was going to be able i would put them away because they'll be in my bed and obviously i've then got to get into bed so i know that i've got to put them away before bed but what i've just been doing is piling them back in the basket it's all clean washing but i've just been really fucking lazy I, honestly getting back into the routine of working in, in the coffee shop and juggling everything else it's been you know when i come home i just don't want to do anything i don't want to do any fucking housework but you know, this is just life. So I thought I'll show you what we're working with today. Ooh, don't you just love spinny chairs? Anyway, so all of that is clean clothes. This is not though. So I've brought up my wash basket. I'm gonna put all my shit in my wash basket. That's clean there. <laughs> so where's the respect, you know? Um, anyways, um, yeah, look at this. My mum is so cute. She left this for me yesterday. She always writes me notes and stuff. It's really cute. I know she loves that kind of shit. But yeah, so... Um, today's a bit of a busy one. And I've just seen in my emails that I've been paid for a brand collab. I'm so glad that I've left that management company, honestly. Like, they were doing... So they'd pay your invoice within a month, usually. It would always be within 30 days. And all of a sudden, they switched it up to 60 days sometimes. So then I've been waiting two months, basically, for a fucking payment for this brand and I know that they got paid ASAP from the from the brand that we worked with but yeah I'm getting paid two months later it's all fuckeries anyway yeah actually I've got to god I've got to do quite a few things I've got to prepare for a meeting I'm gonna have at three <laughs> which is two hours away I need to tidy my room I need to pack my stuff for Hastings I need to take pictures and film in the Wookas I also want to take um do a reel for um these lashes that I got, I've got them months ago, Lola's lashes, and I was going to do a, um, uh, trying, um, IG ad products, blah, 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 but then I was like, I actually don't want to spend that much money on things, and I don't know if I'm going to like them, I'm not, I'm not one of these YouTubers that has loads of money yet, I will do, and once I do, I will be able to buy all these things and try them and test them for you, but this was £35 for this lash kit, and they're magnetic lashes, so I really want to do a reel for them, because I want to actually be able to wear them, I want to, like, if they're good, I want to wear them, so, and I want to wear them when I'm away, so, because I've really not been doing makeup lately. Like, I have nothing on my face right now. What I've been doing is, um, just using clear mascara and then putting it on my brows as well. I've just been going for the own natural look. I just I think I've just been back at work. I just really CBA to put makeup on. But if I can get these lashes right, then that's great. I also need to film, uh, like a proper sit down video for Sunday, because my schedule, what I've been sticking to, I've not told anyone, but it's in my head. Wednesday is the weekly vlog. Sunday is um, like another video. So weekly vlog between 45 minutes to an hour. Because I really like those long vlogs. Like um, Sophia and Chintia, like their vlogs are so long. And they get hundreds of thousands of views on those. And I really thought that people wouldn't watch long, view long vlogs. But I was like, they do. 
one day I'll have hundreds of thousands of views on my videos once YouTube decides to rate me and push my content because it's great content. Um, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna show you the Wookas. I'm gonna unbox it together. Burst it. Wooka! Hello! Hello, hello! Okay, so we've got a bra and a and a and a bombs. Oh, this is sick. Hey! Oh, that's fucking soft. Oh my god. Oh my god, yo, that's fucking soft. And you know what? So I'm on the implant. My periods have been all over the fucking place. Um, I haven't had a period in about two months. But I tell you what, my nipples. More so the right one, it's so sensitive right now, it's so sensitive, so I'm hoping that means a period's on its way. Yes, you heard that right, I'm hoping for a period. Ooh, Do you, oh, that's going to be great for when you've got the bloat as well and the bloat rises up to your, to your, you know, your diaphragm area and you're just fucking bloated and the bra just feels like a prison. I feel like this is not going to feel like a prison. Got the cute, oh, look at that, ooh. Oh my god, that's so nice! Oh my god! I still remember the first pair of Wookas that I ever had from them. I'm so fucking blessed and lucky to be able to work with them. And even on a collab basis, like, I'm just grateful because period pants are a fucking privilege. And they're, like, they're, and, oh, I love Wookas so much because they've got a basics range. They've got an essentials range where it's just, like, so much cheaper. They've got so many great options. And this launch as well is even more spectacular because we have now got shorts short brief type things so it's inclusive for anybody anybody who menstruates can wear these do you know like some people don't want to wear briefs because for whatever reason and they feel more comfortable in a short type thing so we've got the shorts and the bralette uh i'm so gassed to try these on i've got a medium and a small and oh i'm gassed i'm actually gassed i'm so gassed so i will film content in this later I just wanted to show you quickly before I get on with my planning for this meeting. Ah. Oh, actually, let me show you something else. My plant. I think this one's doing well. I think, oh yeah, plant update. Yeah, I think this is doing well. Although, you know, I think I overwatered it. Because what I do is I just put it in a bathroom sink and I fill up the water and I just let it drink. But I probably left it there for too long. But I've got some really big leaves now, which is nice. Um, it's really nice to see these big leaves, although some of them are a bit... <laughs> but it's really nice and it's really long. Um... This is the current situation. Someone told me that I could buy pest spray. So I'm going to look into that. I didn't even know that was a thing. But I've got this one in this now. And I think it looks really good. I think it just needs more space to breathe. Uh, the, uh, the, yeah, yeah. It's alright. It's not too bad. Although, oh no. <gasps> oh. I need to just water them, don't I? We've got this little one here. It's growing. But yeah, alright. Got shit to do. I think I'm done with everything that I need to write down and prep. So what I'm gonna do now is tidy this shit. I'm going to throw everything on the bed and I'm going to organize it all. So join me. This is the fun part. <sighs> oh. oh, fuck. Oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Oh. <sighs> All right, we'll start off with the towel, shall we? You know what? I'm going to play some music. I'm going to speed this shit up. Let her know, I gotta let her know that she my white horse, she my 
my medical She like my baby mama Know how to take care of me Get my baby problems You gon' regret everything So I let her know Gotta let her know Can't do the front door I'll be ready for And if it's what you want I'ma give it to you Yeah, promise I'ma give it to you Miss that smile Lord knows I ain't seen that in a while But it's your style So something must be up keeping you down You a queen that must be heaven sent Pray my soul I must repent for not telling you what I meant and how I felt Honestly I'm used to throwing wishes in a well My conscience tells me that I could have helped without fail Actions speak louder than words And that's a lesson that I learned all by myself Let her know, I gotta let her know That she my white horse, she my medical She like my baby mama, know how to take care of me Get my baby problems, you gon' regret everything So I let her know, gotta let her know Can you see I'm twitching? <sighs> Being on Zoom, is are they still there? I don't know, I don't think so. Being on Zoom is terrifying. Though, she made me feel comfortable, she was lovely. She was lovely, it was, it was a great experience. 17 minutes of pure joy. But you know, and you're just like, ah, and that last moment where, where, why does Zoom have two leave buttons? You press leave meeting and then you gotta press leave meeting again. Why does it do that? Scary. But I'm really excited about this collaboration. Like this is a really cool collaboration. Like this is a really cool app. I'm really excited. Um, I'm just really happy that the meeting is out of the way now because I was so anxious about it. Um, but then it's like you join them and you're like, there's no reason to be anxious because they're lovely. Obviously they're lovely because it's a cool company, but at the same time, it's still scary. You tell I'm scary. Anyways, I even put lip gloss on and I brushed out my brows. But what I'm going to do now is I think I'm going to, well, I folded up my clothes. I think I'm going to, I'll put them away and I might go make something for lunch. But I'm going to film the video of the lashes. Great, 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 great. This is good stuff, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. All right, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> I can't do eyeliner to save my fucking life. This was a really, 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 really fucking tasty meal, apart from that fucking shit in the middle, which was meant to be falafel. But I couldn't believe that I actually enjoyed this mushroom. This, I think this is a king oyster mushroom. It was honestly fucking divine. <laughs> Thank you.
bitch when you from the set. What you think about that nigga? Life or death? Life a cracker like that hanging by the neck? Do you wanna see the boys in jet? Or you wanna see them runway jets? Flat a single ball, one way that. Tell them how that we got stacked so good. Swear to God, it's hard out here for a young black man to live. If you don't do for yourself, then please do for your kids. My nigga, won't you tell Michelle I love your daughter? Please don't let her grow up life without her father. Look at what you bought her. Money couldn't buy. All she need is love. Put the shit aside. At the same time, no, they gotta eat. No, you gotta hustle. hustle. Make ends meet. Gotta make time. Gotta get a grind. Gotta push the This line. is a really good coffee. No, this is um, from a cafeteria. Oh. Birds or the bees. Birds or the bees. I'm just about to redo my hair in the same style, but just freshen the fuck up, you know? This one is a nutty toffee chocolate. Oh. Oh, my mama, I've been taking these, smoking marijuana, oh, that's how I live. It really bothers me when uh, establishments fucking serve you beans in these tiny ass fucking pots and they don't even fill the beans all the way to the fucking top yeah so i'm just here with these tiny ass beans and i pour it onto the plate and it's like that's literally like a quarter of the amount of beans i'd give myself also these wedges they were nice but there was also not enough i'm telling you i was still hungry afterwards the sausages were nice and mushrooms are surprisingly good and i am um, i can't believe i'm getting into mushrooms but yeah this was it bitches have a lovely day and a lovely life goodbye